Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to deal with trusted data to classification. So, um, the, we can use remote sensor for classification uh, by using software and uh, a lot of software we can work with. Uh, for example, Snap, ArcGIS, QGIS, and whatever. So, if you have uh, um, another approach, uh, we can use uh, Python to classification. Why we should use Python? Because uh, the, the software that we use uh, to provide the algorithm, um, the conventional machine learning algorithm, for example, like um, uh, this is a tree, random forest, logistic regression. So, uh, if you would like to work on a, uh, use another algorithm to classification, um, which are um, deep learning and neural network how can we use that one so we cannot use the um, GIS software to classification but we can use Python for classification so in this tutorial I will show you um, we can uh, apply Rasterio to classificate uh, no, uh, Rasterio to convert um, raster data to uh, numeric data for classification okay shall we move to another slide why we need Python to classify there are um, two main tools to use for classification firstly remote sensing software used is uh, NP, SNAP, ArcGIS, ArcMap and so on they can be applied for classification as machine learning work the common algorithm that provide on software is a uh, random forest Logistic regression, uh, decision tree. If the conventional machine learning do not provide the best, uh, the better uh, accuracy assessment to all fit with our data set, how can we do further? Secondly, classification approaches are level improvement, which is um, neural network and deep learning. Therefore, if we have another choice to apply for discrimination uh, our data it will help us to select which one is appropriate algorithm then that is why I would like to describe Python to uh, apply with remote sensing data for classification uh, in this slide I would like to uh, talking about the principle of uh, how can we apply for classification the first one uh, in this slide here input A is mean we can say we can simply say uh, it is an image so we have four pixels the first one is black and then I give it uh, denote black as zero number and white color it is a uh, one number instead of a uh, white color here okay the second one is another image so in this uh, I would like to say we have two image and then we would like to classify um, our, we have two input features the input A and input B okay if we use uh, input A and input B for classification how can we work with so the output of um, combination of input A and input B it could be the output uh, uh, the the pic figure here uh, below. So we can uh, use array to um, handle to uh, work with. So the first one is zero and one here. Okay, I hope you understand this one. Zero and one, one and zero here. Yes. Uh, if you figure B is also, it is the same but different number. So how can we work with? If we have two input features, we can use this type to um, to merge data in, into uh, this one. Okay. After that, okay. Zero stand for uh, we can uh, matching zero and one here. After we apply this step, it could be here zero and one, one and zero. 1 and 0 okay uh-huh I hope you understand after that we can reshape as 4 
call bar two. Our data will could be like this. So it's easy to uh, dealing with that uh, for classification. And this one is uh, our output. So we output is mean uh, we know that pixel what it is um, class type. So we can use this one for prediction. And okay, we can uh, reshape again. So uh, this one is uh, the principle. Uh, we can uh, work with today. Okay, shall we move to a Python script? Um, okay, for example, if we have uh, our data, okay, I will um, import numpy first. After that, uh, we can make our array uh, I mean feature input A here okay we can click one after that we would like to see A what it is okay A could be like this after that we can make B as well okay see what it is B okay B after that we can apply um, Okay, I would like to see why um, the output also. Okay. This is why output. So we can uh, this set A and B, right? As I show you before, we can do like this. Um, because uh, NumPy as NP NP dot this A and B. So we can see. Um, X. Okay. After that, we can. Uh, after we do this stack, we can uh, reshape it. Okay. Four and two, because we have four pixel and two feature. Mm -hmm. and we can see x here um, showing like this after that we can apply our model implement model implement so we can uh, for example this one I would like to use random forest classifier from um, scikit learn here okay so we can apply model.fit oops oops okay focus something here we got the we should reshape the y-axis as well okay it is the same format x and y here okay we have to run again okay yeah here after that we can uh, apply model to predict x after that we can print x what it is uh, y predict what it is so and we have to reshape again and see why predict okay uh, we have done so far about uh, our tutorial we can predict uh, the first pixel one is uh, zero um, no we can say no zero no and yes and yes so after um, you understand what I say today you can apply with uh, raster data so in next um, 
tutorial I will show you how to apply with uh, raster IO and um, uh, I mean the practical uh, tutorial okay see you next video